I ain't had nobody pass it down to me but God. Amen. But I'm trying to pass it to as many as I possibly can today. Amen. Amen. John 14. Amen. Next book behind is John 14. Come on, we got 10 more minutes. John 14. 14, verse 18. And it says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Is that what I wanted? Nope. Go up to verse 12. Go up to verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth for me, the works that I do or practice, shall he do or practice also. And greater works than these shall he do or practice. Because I go unto the who? The Father. So you're going to do greater works than Jesus. If you put your heart to it. Amen? Amen. Don't y'all want Jesus to marvel at you? Amen. Amen. So start practicing. Amen. Acts chapter 10. A few more verses and we're done. I'm just going to skip through what the gifts of the church are because you are the church, right? Amen. If you're born again in here, you are the church. Acts 10.38. Acts 10.38. Ten thirty eight says, "How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the what Holy Ghost and with what power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was what with him. He's going to be with you too. Amen. He's going to be with you. Do you believe that? Amen. He's with you already. Amen. Amen. Oh, because you did what? Accept the free offering of salvation and took on the gratuity, the tip of the Holy." Of in Dallas. Share your gift with somebody. And brothers, I need to say this. And the only reason why I just said it is because that young lady was leaning on her man's shoulder. Just reminded me that the greatest influential gift that we have, brothers, is a female who will influence us to be great. Amen. The woman's job is to influence her man to go forward. See, we see some brothers may call it nagging, and women y'all can't nag. Amen. But when it becomes positive, it's pushing me. Because if we a man who got a woman or a wife, and she is not enforcing him with her mouth to go forward, that man don't want to come home. <laughs> but she don't want to hear that. Amen. The, the two greatest women in the Bible to me were Jezebel and Delilah. Now y'all may call them the lousiest women in the Bible. But if women would take more note out of Jezebel and, and Delilah, more men will stay with them and be loyal to them. You know why? Because Delilah knew how to listen to her man, and Jezebel knew how to love her man. Amen. That's why they're good examples in the Bible to take note of. Don't be sinful like that. Amen. But Samson didn't seem to have a problem laying his hand on her shoulder, knowing she was trying to sit him up. Amen. But he went over there every week. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Amen. And Ahab walked around with his mouth open all day because of Jezebel. <laughs> you want your man to be loyal to you? <laughs> give, him, give him a place where he can lay his hands. <laughs> because we're pressure filled. If we build that stuff up, we don't want to come home and get beat up no more. <laughs> so I close me off, baby. I know you try. How can I help you? Oh, look, honey. You know, what? Well, I feel need to be hated. You know, I can't try. You know, but you want baby daddy? I'm going to take you to court. This is why. Acts 1-8. Amen. All right, one more verse after this and we come to it. Acts 1-8. But your power, women, is influence. That's what your job was. Because that's why God said, I'm putting enmity between you and the devil. Because if you don't use your influence to help your man, you can destroy the world. Y'all know how much power you got, ladies? Amen. Y'all know the, the Bible says that women can bring down entire kingdoms. Amen. Just by what her influence does. Y'all are powerful. Y'all ain't worried about the title. Because y'all behind the man with the title. It's whispering in her ear. Like it whispered in his ear. Go baby. Go over there and blow him up, baby. <laughs> I tell you, Nancy Reagan, Nancy Reagan was still around with all that stuff. No, baby, go kick him in the butt. I bet you Hillary was still a bill. That's right, baby. Don't worry. Influence, but you can't let that man do it. Who's 
but history books and background books will tell you, Jesus didn't start a sermon until he said this. 418, what did he say? Ready? The Spirit of the Lord is what? Upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at freedom or liberty them that are abused. Now, what was he called? Isaiah 61. Amen. Amen. He found himself in the word. Amen. And they tried to kill him after he did that. So what are you trying to say? You got to do it. Find yourself in the word of God. And watch you move forward. Amen. Amen. You read the New Testament until you find who you are. Learn who you are in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Now go to Acts 1. And Acts 1. So if Jesus did it, you can do it. Because he said, greater works that you would do than I have done. Amen. Amen. But watch this. You can't do it without this. Ready? Acts 1 8. But you shall receive what? Power. Deuteronomy. That's the Greek word Deuteronomy. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon who? You. And you shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem and to Judea and to Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the world. So guess what he said? You got to start at home first. Amen. Judea. But if you haven't worked at home, and you haven't been in the city, and you haven't been in your country, you can't go nowhere. Amen. Amen. That's what Judea and Samaria and, and, and Jerusalem is. Jerusalem is what? Their country, right? Samaria is what? Their city. Judea is what? And where they live. You got me? Working. I hope I did that right. But anyway, you understand what I'm saying. All right, final verses. We're done. 1 Corinthians 2. The final thing you must do, you must get the mind of Christ. You've got to get the mind of Christ. Now, if you're still struggling with whatever you're struggling with, pray for the mind of Christ. Amen? I hope y'all hear me in here. Pray for the mind of Christ. But there's going to be a time that's going to run out. You keep living, you keep living the lifestyle that you're living, you're going to wake up dead. Amen. So that means you ain't going to wake up. Amen. I ain't never heard nobody woke up dead yet. <laughs> but you will die spiritually. I'd rather be dead than to die spiritually. I saw my life the other night. I said, you know what? No matter, I don't know why God's taking so long to bless me with a new job, but he's got a plan. I ain't lacking nothing. I ain't missing nothing. I ain't never broke a Amen. But a man likes to work. But I said, you know what? God can take this house, these clothes, Amen. any material thing, rings, whatever they are. Amen. But my cry to him was, God, don't take your spirit. Amen. Amen. You can take it all, but just don't take your spirit. Because I have been angry at some people. And they have been had to repent. Because God didn't remind me, what do you expect? They're sinners. Amen. What do you expect sinners to do? Why are you angry? Take your spirit from me. Because I'm ready to get revenge. I'm ready to take it into my own hands. God said, I'm going to take my spirit from you if you keep that up. No, Lord, don't take your spirit. Amen? Amen. Finally, 1 Corinthians 2. And we're going to end this. Starting at verse 4, we're going to go all the way. And we're going to bring it to a close. 1 Corinthians 2. We're going to start at verse 4. We're going to go all the way to 16, though. And yeah, we want to come to it. I hope y'all got blessed by this word tonight. All right, let's look at verse 4. Ready? And my speech, and, right, and my speech, and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Amen. But in demonstration of the spirit and power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. How be it we ask wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world, you know the prince of this world is the devil, that come to what? Nothing. They come to nothing. Not is nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in a what? Mystery. If you ain't born again, God ain't showing you his mystery. 
There's nothing but a story in it. He speaks of the mystery. Even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the what? Foundations of the world. When? Ordained before the world unto our glory. I wanted to say foundations because I knew he did. Amen. Verse 8. Which none of the princes of this world knew. Which none of these devils knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So, you know they didn't have God's wisdom. Amen. Verse 9. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his what? Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. How far are we going with this? We're going over 16. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world. If you get born again, you ain't got the spirit of the world. But the spirit which is of who? God. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Which things also we speak, not in the world which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. See, if you're always carnal in your own flesh, you don't receive the spirit of things of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are what? Spiritually discerned. So if you ain't praying in God's prayer like, God ain't praying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. So I can judge spiritually. Amen. Amen. He that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judged of who? No man. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Remember I said get the mind of Christ. Who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of who? Christ. 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 We have the mind of Christ. Amen. Thank you, y'all. Father, we just thank you in the mighty name of Jesus for this word. I thank you that people have received your free present and your offering, which you will give them the gratuity or a tip on the you. That they may walk in the distribution of the diamond and their gift. Move from their talent into their gift. I pray that these holidays be a blessing to them. To let them know that they already have the greatest gift inside them. Which is your Holy Ghost. Which is you ministering to them. Which is you teaching them, instructing them in the status. I thank you. In Jesus name. Let the house say amen. amen. amen.